So in the first video in our chemistry IGCSE series, we are going to be looking at the structure of an atom. So what do we know about a substance? A substance, let's say a pure substance, is made up of a particular element. A particular element is characteristic of that substance. And you know that the elements basically fill up the universe. Everything in the universe is made up of elements, and whether they are compounds or single atoms. But today we are going to be looking at simple atoms. And we can see elements as being made up of tiny units. And these are called atoms. And they can exist as a solid, liquid, or as a, in a gaseous state. And what we now are going to talk about is how these structures, these atoms, are made up of even smaller particles and how these particles exist inside the atom. In fact, this is only the basic, the very basic structure that we are going to be looking at at IGCSE level because as you go beyond into a higher level of chemistry, you will realize that this, this structure is debunked. But f at the level we are at now, we are going to accept the structure. None of that. So inside an atom, there are three main particles. They are electrons, there are protons, and there are neutrons. Okay? And inside the nucleus, there are protons and neutrons held together to form a positively charged nucleus. And this exists in the center of the atom, and they are held together by weak forces, one of the four fundamental forces in physics. Otherwise, the forces within the nucleus will force it to repel. And orbiting around this nucleus are electrons, and they orbit around very fast, and they exist in different energy levels, or energy level, or electron shells. And since protons, neutrons, and electrons make up an atom, and they exist, they exist inside an atom, this spherical, this spherical structure that we are going to assume, they are called subatomic particles. Okay? So the total number of protons and neutrons in nucleus is known as the nucleon number, because um, particles within the nucleus such as the proton and the neutron are known as nucleons. So it's the total number of these particles is known as the nucleon number. And what we then know is that electrons have negligible mass. They are relatively massless compared to the proton and neutron. So most of the atom's mass is due to the nucleus, which contains the protons and the neutrons. So therefore, the nucleon number determines the mass, the relative mass of an atom. And this relative mass is more commonly known as the relative atomic mass. So in this situation, there are three protons and three neutrons inside this nucleus, which basically makes up the entire mass of the atom. So therefore, the relative atomic mass is six. Okay, so let's look at a proton. So protons are known in chemistry for determining uh, determining the element in which an atom belongs to. And it has a relative positive charge within the nucleus of plus one. And it has a relative atomic mass of one. Okay? That's what you need to know. And it also determines the number of electrons there are inside the atom. Since an atom is neutrally charged, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. Okay? And let's look at neutrons. Neutrons are relatively very boring particles because all you need to know about them is that they have a relative charge of zero and they have a relative atomic mass of one. Okay? And the next particle is the electron and it has a relative charge of minus one. So that is why we said the, an atom is neutrally charged because it has the same number of protons as electrons. 
So the total charge of an atom will cancel out. And as we said before, the relative atomic mass of an electron is negligible compared to that of a proton, which it is about 1 over 1840th times less than a proton. And therefore, it is seen as negligible. And in chemistry, electrons are, are fundamental because the structure in which elect electrons are basically placed in an atom, in its energy shells, determines the reactivity and chemical properties of an atom, which we will look at later on. Okay, now I've just introduced to you the three main fundamental particles in an atom. Now we must understand how to present the the atom in a certain notation. And as you see, the large letter represents the symbol of the element. For example, iron would iron would be Fe. Okay? And the mass number, which is basically the relative atomic mass, the total number of protons and neutrons inside an atom is represented by the notation A, which is on the top left of this notation. And the bottom left is the proton number. Okay, That's basically how many protons there are inside an atom. So if we were to look at this structure where there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 protons, so the proton number is 6, and hence the electron number is 6 also because atoms are neutrally charged. And <clears throat> there are 6 neutrons also inside the substance. So 6 adds 6 gives us 12. So that's the total mass.